All right, welcome back to 23 degrees sideways. The camera, in fact, is sideways right now. So I said in the, at the very end of the last video, my teaser was Donald Trump screwed up. He really messed up the coronavirus response. And I will hold to that. I, I think that he did. But I think that it was a less damaging screw up than the possibilities of just about any other president we've had in the last couple of decades. That's a little better. Um, you know, I can't imagine the authoritarian response of Obama. Ugh, or Bush. You know, I, maybe. Bush might have been a little smarter about this because people don't give him credit for actually knowing something about how countries work. But, um, you know, the first Bush, Herbert Walker, no, this would not have gone well. Clinton, this would have not gone well. And Hillary? I am really glad Trump won the election just because we avoided killing significant parts of our population by putting them into little holes and keeping them all cooped up, you know? It's... The, Clinton, the, the Hillary Clinton response would have been brutally bad. Okay, Donald Trump screwed up. He did not use emergency powers to prevent governors and mayors, localities, from closing down businesses. He should have. We. This is not hard stuff. We can operate businesses safely without huge amounts of money. The school, the school system is screwed up when they say, oh, we need billions and billions of dollars to do this and that. No, you really don't. This is not hard to do, okay? It's not hard to figure out how to do a little bit different food service. Although, you know, I, what I do is I watch people, I watch the mandates that come down, and it's the least intelligent stuff ever. You have people who are serving food every day, touching cups, touching this, this cup right here, insides of cups, grabbing cups to give you, because you can't get your own cup now. They have to give it to you without gloves on, or they don't change their gloves or whatever, and then they put a glove on to touch a dollar bill. It's, this is, this is stupid. But Donald Trump did not prevent the closure of businesses, and we can operate businesses in a safe and reasonable manner. There's no real problem with that, okay? Social distancing, we, we could have absolutely set up entrance and exit systems. So my Walmart uh, has four doors, four entrances. There's the auto department, the lawn and garden department, and there's what they call marketplace and grocery, the main doors, okay? It's standard super Walmart, just like everywhere else in the country. So what they did to prevent the spread of coronavirus was they closed down everything but one door. So everyone has to get close to each other to funnel in and out. And then they were trying to stop you and count you and, and, and they literally were putting one person at the door who's going to be in contact with every customer, within six feet of every customer who comes through the door. And this is supposed to be good? Anyway, Trump could have, and I would argue probably should have, I don't argue this very often, I don't think using emergency powers is a huge big thing, but there's a reason the courts are very deferential, and that's because the executive authority matters in these instances, and he could have prevented some stupidity. That's number one. Second thing he screwed up on was he permitted the various states, counties, cities, the uh, agent, federal agencies too, to close down parks and outdoor areas and bathrooms. I mean, closing down bathrooms is just bizarre, but it, it's, it's still the biggest thing out there is closed bathrooms. You open your business, you close your bathroom down. But Donald Trump probably, as president, as an executive action, should have prevented 
closing down access to the outdoors. Remember that we had people getting fined, arrested, screamed at, um, stopped from going outside to walk in their local park at one point here. And that should not, that is absolutely wrong. We, we, we didn't have the vitamin D data to the degree that we do now. We didn't have the exercise data to the degree that we do now. But it was pretty obvious that getting out, even from the very beginning, even with the initial data we had from China, it was really obvious that getting outside was a big bonus. This is not super hard to figure out. Um, you know, and unfortunately, Trump had the CDC and Dr. Disaster and all the doomer and gloomers for his advisors. And, you know, he didn't have he really didn't have a decent um, exercise doctor. Like, he no exercise medicine. That would have probably made a difference, you know. I, it, so I think he screwed that one up. I think Donald Trump screwed up first by allowing the, gover the local governments to close down businesses recklessly, capriciously. Second, and second... Don't forget the religious aspects, the gathering aspects. Donald Trump permitted the local and state governments to close down parks and everything else, okay? We literally had to have court battles about drive-in churches. The uh, um, Chief Justice Roberts is, has basically told Nevada's governor that he's can go ahead and treat churches differently than casinos because executive authority is what matters, not the First Amendment. Bizarre. So Trump could have executive authority, emergency powers, prevented that. He didn't, and that was a fuck-up. And the third thing, and this is a little more complicated, but Donald Trump should have actually used war powers stuff to go to war. Uh, he should have made use of all seven uniformed branches of service, and if you think I'm wrong about all seven, I, I would invite you to count them for me in the comments, but everyone from the crayon eaters to the USPHS, right? He should have taken everybody and just all hands on deck start getting the information, getting the data. Okay, we didn't really have a problem with PPE. You know, people, people, the news made it into a big, huge problem because people like me donated stuff. There were supply issues, so Americans stepped up and donated and helped with supplies. This is a positive, but for the news, this was a negative because Trump should have magically made it all appear. Day one. Whatever. We never really ran out. We never really ran, ran low. Um, we had supply issues, but a lot of that is just the things are here and the people are here and you gotta get the things to the people. And there's localized problems. That That's just, that's life. We fixed it. We handled it. We never even came close to medical capacity. Never even close. And my, you know, I have a friend who says, oh, that's because we did lock down and we slowed the spread. No, no. Uh, the worst, the worst places we had were the places with the tightest lockdowns, and that's, you know, you correlate. Correlation is not causation, but it's pretty consistent across the board. And I'm talking about hospitalizations and deaths, not tested positive, because that just means the virus. That doesn't mean the disease. Keep keep that in mind when you start fighting with me over this. Um, we never came close to running out of um, what was the big scare? Ventilators. We were going to run out of ventilators. Everyone's going to die because there's not enough ventilators. Dude, Cuomo in New York sat on a warehouse full of 30,000 of the damn things like an African warlord protecting MREs 
to, to maintain his power base for months. And we never really needed them because he would have had to give them up if we really needed them. We never, we never ran out. We never ran low. There was never an issue. But if we had deployed the full weight and expertise of our military in data collection, um, making responsible care decisions, we, we killed people with ventilators. Okay, I want you to remember that. Um, but especially data collection, tracking, really figuring out what was going on. Because what we did was we let the media and a politicized set, well, subset of scientists decide all that for us. And that really wasn't a good idea. You know, the, me the media will push and push and push. The only studies you will hear about, the only studies you can find, the only studies allowed, allowed on social media or broadcast news are ones that agree with a certain political policy position. And Trump should have just unleashed the full weight and might of the military on this one. And that doesn't mean troops on the streets. It means the military has an ability to do things on a scale that is kind of unimaginable to civilians. Contact tracing. Contact tracing does not mean you have to give up your privacy and, and report, log your movements. The way they're doing contact tracing is so ridiculously outdated. It's like six, 17th century stupid. Okay, the military does actually understand computers and data and logistics and movement of large scale things. And we could have done much better with contact tracing, with care, with uh, actually figuring out spread versus uh, disease. All of that would have been much better off if Donald Trump had literally gone to war with the virus. And he didn't. So those are the three things I have that I think Donald Trump kind of messed up on. And, uh, you know, everyone else who hates Donald Trump's response has some sort of mythological set of other things. He's incoherent. He's full of bullshit. He's, he's wishy-washy. He didn't do these things. He didn't tell people to panic enough. He did But no one can say this policy position. This is exactly what he did. Some people will say he didn't shut down travel early enough. Could he? Literally, could he have shut down travel? Could he have declared an emergency? Could he have gone full authoritarian at that point in time? The answer is no. The courts wouldn't have let him. He would have been removed from office. And then it would have, the, you know, the narrative would have changed as things came out. Remember that he was, he was told, flat out, media and politics, that this was a nothing early, you know? I don't know. What, what is the policy position? John Bolton disbanded one working group in the NSC, in the NSC, one sub-working group in the NSC and handled, handed their responsibilities on pandemics to other working groups. And apparently that's the big thing. Okay? That's, you know, I don't get it. I don't. People tell me that it's incoherent and bad, but they can't point to anything really significant where you can predict a different outcome. So what's up with that? All right, we're gonna do a third part of this because I have one more thing I have to actually talk about and these are getting to be long videos. So stay tuned and stay sideways.